hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very fascinating model released by apple which is called as depth pro before i discuss what depth pro is let's first try to get one concept clear which is of monocular depth estimation monocular depth estimation is a technique used in computer vision to estimate the distance of objects from a camera using only a single image or video frame unlike traditional stereo vision methods that require two cameras to calculate depth monocular depth estimation relies on a single camera view making it more practical for applications where multiple cameras aren't feasible this technology enables machines to understand the 3D layout of a scene from a 2D image, which is crucial for tasks like robotics, autonomous driving, augmented reality, and a lot of other use cases. We already have covered a lot of monocular depth estimation models, and this one just a new addition, but it just addresses the same problem with a unique view. We are going to install it locally and then I will also show you how you can use it in your own projects. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus you will also get a coupon code of 50% discount in video's description which you can use on a range of GPUs. Also they are holding this Hacktober 2024 where you can submit your LLM generated entries to win $100 in free GPU compute credits. Okay, let's go back to this Depth Pro. Now, this Depth Pro is a breakthrough model. It is designed for zero-shot metric monocular depth estimation. The model can generate high-resolution accurate depth maps with precise details and absolute scale without requiring additional camera metadata as you can see on your screen. Depth Pro achieves remarkable speed, producing detailed depth maps in just 0.3 seconds on standard hardware. The innovations behind Depth Pro include advanced vision transformer technology, a hybrid training approach combining real and synthetic data, and new evaluation metrics for boundary accuracy. Overall, the text uh, or the model really is a significant advancement from Apple in monocular depth estimation that offers improved efficiency, accuracy, and applicability for various computer vision applications. Let's go and try to get this thing running. So I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, but you can even go with the lower one. Let's clear the screen. First up, let's git clone the repo and i will drop the link to it in video description that is done second let's create a virtual environment with conda and try to go with python 3.9 because that is what compatible with this one let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long and that is done next up let's install all the prerequisites from the current directory and that is going to take a couple of minutes, so let's wait. And while that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video, which are AgentQL. AgentQL is a structured language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and you can use the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. It is quite resilient and reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and I will also drop the link to it in video's description. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. And you can see that the Depth Pro is almost installed. Let's wait for it to finish. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. Now, if you do ls ltra here, you will see that there is a shell script, get pre trained one. We need to make sure that it is executable because that is what is going to download the model for us. So, I have changed the permission to executable. Let's download the model by sourcing it. And you can see that now it is downloading the model. 
um, the ETA is very low. It's uh, not a big model at all. It is in the PyTorch format. Just have to be careful with this format, by the way. Okay, shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's try to do the inference on a single image. I'm just going to use example image which comes with their repo, which is in their data directory. And just to show you the image, this is the image which we are going to use. So let me run it. Where is the terminal? And you can run it by simply running it with depth dash pro run dash i on that image. You can use any image of your choice from your local system. So let me run it here. It is running, taking a bit of a time. So let's wait for it. And there you go. So you see, it has created a very, very fine uh, depth estimation, as I was mentioning. And there you go. And I think it is running on CPU. Let me also, for the reference, quickly check the usage of my GPU card at the moment. So I'm just going to do NVIDIA-SMI. And you see it is just using 7 gig of VRAM from my GPU. So you can even run it easily on 8 GB of VRAM and I think even on 4 GB of VRAM. That might be a bit slow, but shouldn't be that slow at all. Okay, so let me clear this. Another good thing is that this research and model is backed by a very thorough uh, and very finely written paper and this depth pro is enabled by a number of technical contributions first they have designed an efficient multi-scale width bit based architecture for capturing the global image context while also adhering to fine structures at high resolution secondly they have derived a new set of metrics that enable leveraging highly accurate matting data set for quantifying the accuracy of bounding tracing in evaluating monocular depth maps thirdly they have devised a set of loss functions and a training curriculum that promotes sharp depth estimate while training on real-world data sets that provide coarse and inaccurate supervision around boundaries, along with synthetic data sets that offer accurate pixel-wise ground truth but limited realism. Fourth and but not last or least, they have contributed zero-shot focal length estimation from a single image that dramatically outperforms the prior state of the art. So real good stuff. Read through it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as, it, as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support. And of course, thank you for watching.